doing something completely different because I feel like now is the time to actually vlog my daily life and just share like the entrepreneur journey, how I build my businesses, what I get up to and just every step of the way. Partly for me because I want to document my life and be able to like look back and see how far I've come but also because entrepreneurship is so difficult and such a roller coaster journey and also a lifelong journey and I just feel like there's so many people out there that want to do it or that have these ideas but we always hold ourselves back and by sharing my journey it might inspire you to take that leap and just go and build your dream life even if it's not entrepreneurship and not your own business but just to create everything that you want what a better way to show it than to literally show my own journey so this is the first vlog and the start of this journey because when I first did vlogs a few years ago I had only just started building my brand so there wasn't really much to document because a lot of it was daily like working through my internal battles every day so like I wasn't physically doing anything I was just kind of trying to hype myself up and convince myself that I can make music and do all of these things that I wanted to do but now because I've been doing it for two years now I have so much going on every single day and so many ideas that come in my head every single day so there's a lot that I can show you and I'm excited for you to see and there's also something new that I'm working on which I'm not going to tell you about yet because like who knows how long it's going to take me to put it all together but I'm going to show you the process of me putting it together so then you can watch exactly how it falls into place. So yes, I think that is everything I wanted to say for this little bit, this little introduction but I'm so grateful for all of you supporting me and subscribing and watching. It just really means the world. So don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified whenever I upload because these videos as well as solo trip podcast consciously create and mirror mirror all my series are all coming every week and yeah so let's go unbox this new delivery and I will warn you before I get up and start like going about my business I tend to wear the most shit clothes when I'm at home which is most of the time because I don't really go anywhere I'm always at home just working on my business or working my part-time job to fund my business so I'm literally in clothes that don't even match like grey and blue what the hell is this doesn't even match but I don't care so you are gonna see me looking pretty shit quite a lot okay <laughs> so just to pre-warn you but this hoodie it's a part of my merch and it says Solar Trip which is my like spiritual podcast and yeah you can grab yours, the link to my website is in my bio if you want to grab your own hoodie because it's super soft and comfortable but this is literally what I wear all the time is just hoodies, t-shirts, like my brother's t-shirts and trackies so get used to it because <laughs> it's a daily thing. So yeah we're going to go and unbox this new package. Just had to put my glasses on because you girl cannot see without them but I wanted to do the intro and look normal without them. Try and put this light on so we can actually see inside this box. And also please excuse that I have no nails on. I know I literally had nails every day for probably three years or something just non-stop but I wanted to get some like press on ones that are already designed so I don't have to worry about designing them but they didn't arrive and then when they did they were all broken so I'm still without them so they're just gonna have to look a mess for now and also they're like my natural nails are filled with hair dye where I dyed my roots so I just look a complete mess okay but what can you do so I bought myself a wonderful heat press machine you can probably guess what this is for but we're not going to talk about it right now we're just going to unbox it okay <laughs> Let me prop this camera somewhere. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy. Calling... <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Oh, this is so 
it. Okay, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> The instructions are not in English. Two thousand years later. Oh, they are. Oh no. We're in. Oh, so I kind of figured it out. Slowly but surely, we got there. <laughs> so it, it actually already comes completely done. I just had to connect this thing here into this thing here and then it can just plug into the wall and then these are the different plates so instead of having this one I can just replace it with one of these so this would do a different size mug and I think there's three different mug ones and then I have one for hats and then this one will do like t-shirts and hoodies and all kinds of different clothes so yeah so yes i bought my own heat press because then i can just do my merch myself and actually press the designs onto them oh i just realized i'm super zoomed in still i was wondering why it was so close to my face but yeah so now i need to figure out where the hell to keep it because you know we're living in a little bedroom <laughs> maybe uh, i don't think this is going to even fit under the bed otherwise i would put it there hmm i need to figure out where to put it but yeah i just wanted to show you guys and the unboxing it because i've never had one of these before i don't know how to use it very well but i've watched some youtube videos so we're gonna give it a try soon and you will see when i try it okay so i found a place where i can put it and this is probably really weird and random but we're gonna put it in my wardrobe because I cleared out so much space before all my clothes fit in the other half so if I just move those shoes to the top shelf this can go on the bottom shelf and not break the shelf because it'll be on the bottom one so we're gonna do that I don't know how well my camera is gonna balance there but it'll do Ooh. I still have my boots in the packaging because we're not trying to ruin the sparkle <laughs> I just realised all you're getting is literally my ass. Like, wonderful. Oh, now I need to clean it. God's sake, it's never straightforward, is it? I'm gonna just try it. If it breaks, then we could just cry. Ah, oh. mother. Yeah, that's fine. Woo. Now I don't know where I'm going to put my linen basket, but the things you do for business. Oh, yeah, I think you like my it is like quarter to seven in the evening and I've just done a full day of work at my part-time job, which I do at home. But I just did a full day of that. I did nine hours. So now I can do all of the stuff for my business. And I've also, like, that's it for the week. I only do two days a week, nine hours each day. And then I have the rest of the week, so literally five days, if you include the weekends, which I do my business on the weekends because it's 24-7. So I now have five days to do all of the stuff that I actually want to do which is just incredible. So I'm just going onto my calendar because I have to schedule everything in, otherwise I just will not remember anything. So it's all in my notes and in my calendar. So I'm just gonna go into that and mark off everything that I've done and then check everything else that I wanna do tonight because there's a few things I need to do. So I'm just gonna show you my little calendar. So work. Eight to five is complete and I have the, you know, like the tick emoji. <laughs> I have it saved in my notes because I use it so often. So I can just, they don't have a, um, like a ticking kind of system. So I have to use an emoji to say that I have done the task. <laughs> and my new episode of Solitary Podcast went up so I can tick that. 
and then what else? I haven't done vocal practice today and I need to organise my herbs and I haven't meal prepped at all. Oh god. But I did work, I did my morning self care and then my heat press arrived which I didn't realise it was coming today so I had to sort that out. So tonight I want to do my herb organisation but I literally made so many notes today of all of the things that I want to do so there's just oh, look how many video ideas I have <laughs> all of these are little video ideas for YouTube and I need to film so anyway <laughs> so many things to do I need to join a real mail click and drop so that's another thing to do at the weekend on Sunday Sunday Sunday. I just realised I'm literally not in this whatsoever. Not that you need to see me, but hello. As you can see, my week is like full every day. <laughs> you know, like Monday and Tuesday are over here, and then Wednesday and Thursday are music days. Friday I'm filming. Saturday I have to schedule all of my social media and copy all my content over and stuff. And then Sundays is all the extra tasks. Like I'm going to be creating a new necklace collection. And I'm going to research my music videos because I want to start shooting music videos myself. And then I need to order loads of stuff. So all my days are full. But it's fun. Like I actually enjoy it. I even have to make a note to pay off my credit card. Otherwise I'll just forget everything. So I do like using Google Calendar. It's quite helpful. But yeah, that's all I needed to do on here, to be honest. <laughs> so the main thing that I wanted to do today was go through these books that I bought because it's all about nutrition. Really cool books because it literally lists out all the herbs that you could ever need and all of the reasons why you need them, what they do and all of that. So then you can pick and choose which ones you need each day for different reasons. Like if you get a cold, you'll know which ones to go to to sort out the cold kind of thing. And then also bodybuilding because as I've said for like two whole years, I want to gain weight. And then every time I try to, I just fall off <laughs> because it's effort. So I wanted to go through this and like decide um, my meals. I kind of wanted to make myself my own meal plan because I've noticed if my meals are not made and if like it's not already prepared and ready, then I'm not going to eat well. I'm just going to have a jacket potato literally twice a day for the whole week <laughs> because I can't be bothered to make anything else. So I normally meal prep on Sundays and then I've got it. And I always batch it as well, so then I've got it for like a few weeks and then I can pick and choose which meal I want if I do a few meals at a time. But I need to actually get all of the right nutrients because I'm probably lacking in some of them. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do is just read through this, create my meal plan and then live my best life. <laughs> Attempt to. <laughs> I feel like there needs to be a meal plan and like a thing already laid out because this is just so much information. Now I'm like, oh, there is a meal plan. <laughs> there actually is one. Because now I don't know what to have <laughs> to eat to get all of the things that I need. You feel me? You feel me? Okay, there actually is a meal plan. Or recipes. Ooh, that looks nice. Chickpea jollof, hell yes. Oh, and there's plantain in it, oh my god. <laughs> this is like heaven on a plate. Man. Okay, I need to just try some of these meals then. I just tried this herbal tea for the first time ever and it's fucking horrible. <laughs> That's claw, sarsaparilla, burdock and something else, I can't remember because my mum made it and oh my god, it's so bitter. I don't think I've ever tasted anything so bad in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like hold my breath just to take it because I'm determined to drink it. I'm gonna mix my own herbs myself to make them look nice. <laughs> okay. 